the most positive effect of uh, Improvac is of course the welfare that you, there's no need to castrate anymore. I think that's absolutely the most important benefit of uh, Improvac. The main problem is not at the moment of the surgical uh, uh, castration, but it is later when you put the piglet back in the pen. Yeah, then the pain starts. With Improvac, there is no scar, there's no nothing. So I think that's the main thing. It is an enormous step forward in the welfare issue and it is a step forward in feed conversion and carcass quality. The streptococcus infection goes down, uh, there's less work for the farmers, so I think we got an enormous benefit there. Then later on in the chain we got another benefit that is that we can fattening bulls and by fattening boars we got a better feed conversion and a better carcass at the end in the slaughterhouse. We found in our, our trial that um, the, is about, the feed conversion is about 10% better than in the untreated animals. And especially for the Dutch case, there is also a, a huge benefit because 10% less feed in general is, means 10% less manure as well. Uh, the support I received from Pfizer was Absolutely fantastic because they got already in other parts of the world, they got so much experience with it. So if I got any questions, what's going on, they knew already the answer and sometimes they knew already that the question was coming. Improvac is easy to use because it comes in a ready to use solution, uh, it comes with a safety syringe and I'm quite convinced we can give the farmers a training so they can safely apply the vaccine into their pigs. In summary, the, for me the key subjects are welfare is much better with Improvac, the feed conversion is better with Improvac and the carcass quality is better with Improvac. So I think those are absolutely the three main issues for me in the practice.